I need to design and build a new cabinet. While walking through my shop, I noticed a small pile of termite droppings under an old workbench, which resulted in partial demolition of that workbench to isolate the colony. This resulted in having to design and build a replacement cabinet, and here we can see a picture of the finished cabinet. The dimensions are about 71 inches long by 24 deep by 36 inches high. This is a pile of droppings found on the ground, and this is another pile found on one of the shelves. I found a tunnel in one of the 1x2s and another one that was only a skeleton. I continued to cut up until nothing was left but solid wood, so then I could continue to create my new cabinet. Now a quick look at the design using my CAD program. First to come off is the optional tempered hardboard, followed by the top screws, top, and the top side biscuits. Now sliding out all of the six drawers so we can get a look at the inside of the cabinet assembly. And followed by removing all of the bases for the drawer sliders. Pulling the screws, front cove base, dowels, and biscuits before rotating to the back to see the side and back panel screws. Then back around to the front again to pull the critter screens from the back and side panels. Last, we will reverse it and quickly throw it all back together before we start the hard work of actual manufacturing. Keep in mind, through this process, it is rare for the engineered prototype to end up being the actual manufactured part. You'll be seeing some edits to the original design that had to be performed during manufacturing. But the model we are seeing here is the final design. Before we start making sawdust, let's go over the cut sheets for the plywood. The cabinet design was optimized for best fit on 4x8 sheets of plywood. This cabinet will require the following. Three 4x8 by 18 millimeter sheets of plywood and one sheet at 4x2. One 4x8 by 12 millimeter sheet of plywood. One 4x8 by 6 millimeter sheet of plywood. Optionally, one 4x8 by 1 8 inch sheet tempered hardboard for a top cover and a 4 inch by 96 inch length of pine or other material for the front cove base. Here is an example of one of the cut sheets showing six of the drawer backs and six of the drawer faces. Moving back, we can see the balance of all the cut sheets. Not shown is the cove base since I used solid pine and the tempered hardboard for the top. Now a brief look at the hardware we need. Two 3 8 dowels, eight number 20 biscuits, seven number eight by two inch flathead screws, 24 number 10 by 2 inch flathead screws, 16 one and a half inch cabinet screws, 6 drawer knobs, 6 sets of drawer slides, 1 and a half inch pneumatic crown staples for the drawers, 3 eighths to 1 inch pneumatic crown staples for the optional top, 1 half inch handgun crown staples for the critter guards, 1 quarter mesh hardware cloth for the critter guards. In part two of this series, we will get to the work of cutting some wood and making sawdust. 